Alec Baldwin was back on SNLA's Donald Trump this week, advising Mike Pence to leave all kinds of events for disrespecting the U.S. flag, the sanctity of marriage, and Santa Claus. Trump gave a stump speech in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania in the sketch, Harrisburg, as Baldwin's Trump called it, but kept stopping his speech to give check-in with Beck Benatz Mike Pence to see if anyone was being disrespectful at different events. It was a riff on a real event in which Pence attended an Indianapolis Colts game but left during the national anthem because players knelt during the national anthem. Pence started by attending a basketball game, where he reported that players were kneeling during the national anthem. Also read SNL Weekend Update says Harvey Weinstein should be in prison, get out of there Mike Bale, haul ass out of there Trump commanded. Next, Trump caught up with Pence at a Starbucks. Baldwin's Trump asked whether the coffee shop had its holiday cups out, and whether they said Merry Christmas. Pence said that, since it was October, it was too early for Christmas cups, but Trump was adamant. Also read SNL Kate McKinnon's Debit Gold retells a story about Harvey Weinstein harassing her video They Should Have Me as Santa Claus giving all the children coal because coal is the future of this country, Baldwin's Trump told him. When Pence reported they said pumpkin spice is back, Trump demanded Pence leave the store. We're going to start saying Merry Christmas again, and you can't disrespect our Lord and Savior Santa Claus like that, Trump said. Also read SNL McKinnon's Kelly and Conway channels it, drag Anderson Cooper into the sewer finally, Trump called up Ben Ott's Pence and found himself at a wedding ceremony. When he asked if anyone was being disrespectful, Pence reported that everything seemed to be fully respectful, until he said a second groom appeared. No one should disrespect the sanctity of marriage like that, Trump said. Like it says in my favorite Bible verse, double Corinthians, marriage is between a man and a woman, then another woman. Then another woman. And maybe one more if you have got it in you. Okay, we're in for at least probably four years of Donald Trump as President of the United States. That means lots of bad things and one particularly great thing we're in for a lot more Alec Baldwin impersonations of Trump on Saturday Night Live. From the often ridiculous phrases to the weird outbursts, SNL has captured all of it. In fact, the sketches often seem to struggle to surpass reality in terms of absurdity. But they get there. Here's a list of every Baldwin is Trump SNL sketch ranked from least to most hilarious, with links to the sketches. NBC 21. Trump's classroom cold open December 3, 2016 Trump retweets ridiculous people, like a 16-year-old and a white supremacist. This one's sadder than it is funny, though, because most of it doesn't even require jokes, you can watch that sketch here. NBC 20. Donald Trump prepares cold open November 19, 2016 Fresh off winning the election, Trump's completely unprepared. We already know that Mike Pence will do everything, but good effort, SNL, you can watch that sketch here. NBC 19. Trump's Christmas cold open December 17, 2016 Vladimir Putin and Rex Tillerson drop by Trump Tower for Christmas. This one definitely brings to mind the phrase, no puppet, no puppet. It's also, perhaps, the most outright terrifying of all of these, you can watch that sketch here. NBC 18, The Orly Factor with Donald Trump, April 8. Alec Baldwin played both a scandalized Bill Orly and Trump, who appeared on O'Reilly's show to defend him. A clueless Trump is a nice addition to this one but he's ultimately just an addition to another gag. You can watch the sketch here. NBC 17, Donald Trump vs. Hillary Clinton, debate 3 cold open October 22, 2016 Trump is winning every single poll taken outside a cracker barrel, but it's Kate McKinnon as Hillary Clinton who steals this one, kind of like in real life, you can watch that sketch here. NBC 16, Donald Trump vs. Hillary Clinton, debate 1 cold open October 1, 2016 The first debate really found Baldwin hitting the Trump stride. It's mostly just him shouting Gina in a very insistent tone his weird pronunciation of China. Huge Gina gets a lot of mileage though, you can watch that sketch here. NBC 15. Trump takes the appeals court to the People's Court February 11th SNL made good on Trump's all caps see you in court tweet by taking the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals to the People's Court, but Judge Millian hassling Trump about his travel ban was a bit too short to really take off. Watch the sketch here. NBC 14. Sean Spicer confronts Trump May 13 after a tough White House press briefing. Melissa McCarthy's press secretary Sean Spicer rode his motorized podium to New York to confront Trump on lies. The pair wound up making out. Watch the sketch here. NBC 13. Donald Trump Phoenix rally cold open August 24, 2016. Trump gives a goodbye to Steve Bannon and pledges to build the wall on the U.S.-Mexico border and make the American taxpayer pay for it. 
Watch the sketch here. NBC 12. Trump's people April 8th Trump checks in with rural white Americans after ordering an airstrike on Syria. Desperate to keep everyone happy, he promises everyone will have coal jobs for the rest of their lives and that hell slash minimum wage. The final joke about finger chili is a standout moment. Watch the sketch right here. NBC 11. VP debate cold open October 8, 2016 Trump nabs the spotlight from the vice presidential debate and realizes he needs to be a lot more careful about talking about sexually assaulting people while wearing hot mics. Describing himself as a gross groping hurricane is hilariously cringeworthy, you can watch that sketch here. NBC 10. Trump might have ties to Zorblat 9 as aliens invade March 11. Trump spoke to American troops to rally them in a battle against super-powerful space aliens. Unfortunately, Trump's old standbys like we don't win anymore and we're going to bring coal back were not all that helpful. Most of the rhetoric is stuff we've heard before, but Leslie Jones and Sashir Zamat as moments near the end elevate the sketch. Watch the sketch here. NBC 9. Trump call with Mayor Carmen Ulan Cruz September 30, 2016. Trump fields a call with Mayor Carmen Ulan Cruz of San Juan, Puerto Rico, and reminds her that if the U.S. territory should have invested in FEMA Prime if it wanted fast hurricane relief. Watch the sketch here. NBC 8. Trump administration sings Hallelujah May 20. The final cold open of the season references Kate McKinnon's cold open as Hillary Clinton, making a perfect joke about Donald Trump's week of news scandals. Scarlett Johansson even returned for a quick guest appearance to reprise her role as Ivanka Trump. Watch it here. NBC 7. Hillary Clinton Donald Trump cold open November 5, 2016 CNN doesn't care that Trump literally kisses the FBI, Putin and the KKK, instead pestering Hillary about emails. Alec and Kate heartwarming run through Times Square is the real sweet spot of the sketch. You can watch that sketch here. NBC 6. Donald Trump gives Bannon and Kushner the apprentice treatment April 15 after a week of reports about infighting between Steve Bannon and Jared Kushner, SNL pits the two advisors against each other and to see who will be eliminated. Spoiler alert it's Bannon. Watch the sketch here. NBC 5. Donald Trump trucker rally did cold open October 14. Baldwin's Trump continues to make Vice President Mike Pence back Bennett walk out of things in protest, including a basketball game, a Starbucks and a gay wedding. Watch the sketch here. NBC 4. Donald Trump vs. Hillary Clinton Town Hall Debate Cold Open October 15, 2016 Of all the debates, the second was the funniest. Trump lurking in the background and slipping past Hillary like he's the shark in a Jaws movie completely captures the awkwardness of the real event. You can watch that sketch here. NBC 3. Donald Trump press conference cold open January 14 that might be the lowest brow of the sketches but Trump accidentally talking about urine throughout his press conference is bested only by the line, I'm not talking about the pee-pee, because it didnt happen and it wasnt as cool as it sounds. You can watch that sketch here. NBC 2. Donald Trump and Steve Bannon call world leader February 4 SNL channels two weeks of executive actions and other Trump news items to turn out a ton of jokes that channel absurdity while still finding new ways to be funny. Watch the sketch here. NBC 1. Donald Trump interview with Lester Holt May 13 after firing former FBI director James Comey, Trump realized he could say just about anything with no consequences. He tried it out in an interview with Lester Holt. Watch the sketch here. NBC were in for at least probably four years of Donald Trump as President of the United States. That means lots of bad things and one particularly great thing we're in for a lot more Alec Baldwin impersonations of Trump on Saturday Night Live. From the often ridiculous phrases to the weird outbursts, SNL has captured all of it. In fact, the sketches often seem to struggle to surpass reality in terms of absurdity. But they get there. Here's a list of every Baldwin is Trump SNL sketch ranked from least to most hilarious, with links to the sketches.